My name is Elizabeth Danford, and uh, this is my friend Justin. We are going to be doing uh, a complete physical assessment from head to toe. Uh, we won't be differentiating um, what systems we're doing, we're just going to go straight on through. So first I'm going to um, start with washing my hands and do a general survey, general survey assessment on Justin. Uh, I know that he is alert and oriented times three. Um, he appears very well dressed, he takes care of himself very well. He um, is appropriate dressed for winter time, doesn't have any shorts on. Uh, do you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay. All right, so we'll get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to take a look at his head, uh, look at his hair distribution. His hair is thinning a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make sure there are no lumps or lesions, and there are not, and his head is very symmetrical. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at his ears. I'm going to palpate the external ear. Any pain? No. Nope. Very good. Okay. And then if I had an otoscope, I would look into his ears um, and observe the internal ear canal. Um, I would look at the tympanic membrane. And it should appear silvery bluish color and it should be intact, no holes in the membrane. Um, I see that he has a little bit of um, earwax, which is appropriate. He doesn't have any problems hearing right now. Um, and his ear looks, his ear looks kind of moist, uh, but there's no discharge. Any ear pain? No, thank you. Sir. Okay, so his ears are very good. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at his eyes. I'll have you take off your glasses for me. And I'm going to use my flashlight. I won't splash the whole light in because it's kind of bright light. Okay, I'll have you open your eyes for me. Okay. Good. Okay, his eyes are are reactive to light. Um, the sclera is nice and white. There is no redness. No blood vessels appear to have um, maybe been popped or anything like that. Okay, very good. And now I'm going to take a look at his nose. First I'm going to palpate his nose down the brim of his nose, which feels just fine. Okay, yep, stay just like that. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going to look at his nasal canal. Um, looks like good nasal patency. Um, doesn't look like there's any blockages. Looks very good. Okay. Before I set this down, I'm going to take a look at his mouth next. Okay, I'm going to have you open your mouth for me. Um, his uh, mucosa is pink and very moist. He's got good dentition. Um, his uvula is good line and swallow. And the rise and fall is very good. Um, he doesn't have any white spots on his tongue or anywhere in his mouth. It's very, uh, very pink, very moist. His lips have good pink color, uh, and um, I also looked, and he does not have his tonsils. He had he has had them removed in the past. Okay, very good. And um, so after we've looked at the head, the ears, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, I'm going to go ahead and go into um, checking his sinuses. So I'm gonna, to check his sinuses, I'm going to palpate them. So I'm going to palpate the <clears throat> the frontal sinuses here and they feel okay, and the maxillary sinuses, and then I'm, I'm going to check for um, TMJ, um, and to do that, you're going to just palpate right here, and this is the temporal mandibular joint, so I'm going to have you swallow, open your mouth and swallow, okay, and then just uh, close your mouth, and you're listening for a click, or, or feeling for a click actually, so do that one more time, just go ah, ah, and close, and he does have a click with his TMJ. Um, okay, um, after look, you know, checking the sinuses, we're going to go into the lymph nodes. So we'll start up here with the preoricle and the postoricle, and the occipitotonsillar is uh, right here behind his right here behind his ear, and the submental arterial cervical chain, the uh, post cervical chain, the deep cervical chain, and um, I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders. Very good, and this will be the supraclavicular node right here. Okay, you can relax. Um, all the all the nodes seem intact. There's no swelling. None are um, larger than any others. So that I don't think he has any infections going on or a cold. Um, I'm going to check his carotid artery now. Just get a feel for the pulsation. And I'm going to check the other side. You don't want to do both sides at the same time because your patient has a, a risk of maybe passing out. But his um, 
his pulse is very um, very good it's bountiful it's not thready or anything and then you want to check the trachea and make sure it's midline um, his is very midline if your trachea wasn't midline it would probably be pretty obvious that it wasn't okay do you have any questions thus far nope. okay we're going to pause for a moment and continue our video